okay so we got dependencies thereafter you have to tell to your cypress.json that we gonna use mocha some reporter okay again you might get a question how would i know that i have to place that in cypress.json okay you have to understand right i am just saying that you have to place this here but if you are trying to learn as a beginner then who will guide you to understand that you have to place that reporter option here if i am you i learned from their official website so i will just show you how did i explore myself and figured out all these so that tomorrow if there is one more reporting you can also do in the same manner and try to figure out the things so everything is their official documentation cypress mocasm and then if you go to their documentation um where is the mocasm there are multiple reporting plugins what cypress has given us out of all these i feel mocasm is the best one so that's why i have picked that for explaining right look at here to specify the path to your custom reporter you have to give this in your cypress.json reporter and tell where exactly it is located in general um let, let me show you another thing here yeah here if you installed a custom reporter which is nothing but mocasm here through npm then specify the package name here that's what they were saying so you have to give that package name in your cypress.json then only after execution cypress.json will invoke this reporter and will help you to create html report files okay so this is how i learned and then we already have this array defined so just uh, need to add as a key value pair because this structure we already have right and put a comma so that error will be gone okay nice we did this as well what else so now again they were asking if you want to generate a reports through mocasm go to your command line and when you give cypress run then you need to add a property called reporter and then add this keyword so that it will record your test and also i told you right just mocasm is not enough that you have to install mocha as well so that idea also given by them only they were clearly telling that if you want to install any peer dependencies the reporter requires even if they are bundled with cypress you have to install this mocha as a peer dependency okay so we know that mocha comes with cypress but again we need a mocha as a separate dependency that's what we did here so i just went through this documentation to understand all this but you don't have to go through all this pain whatever i went like seeing that there is a bug for the latest version or dashboard is not recording complete test i have done lot of research hard work to figure out all these issues so you just watch and relax everything I have centralized at one single video here nice so shall we run this now i think everything looks good they were given as a command asking us to run that specific test so this is the command but if i run all tests again it will take so much time to get results so what i can do here instead of running multiple tests um give me a second i will execute only one test and show you how they were running cypress run reporter mocha awesome and spec file and you can pass that specific spec file what all you have if you want to run this test framework uh, copy path and try to place here so much something we just need it from cypress perfect everything looks good so let's run this and now it should just run that test and create a html file and report that 
file result in that specific mocha some folder so this is the external custom plugin if you don't want to use cypress dashboard but my personal suggestion is to stick with cypress dashboard and make your client believe that it was really worth of investing in that dashboard but if you want to work with multiple teams then you have to buy it i guess you can go through the dashboard pricing and everything if it is for personal use it's a free but dashboard charges if you want to make sure that project is visible to more than some n number of users so obviously if you want to see the results everyone should have access to that dashboard right so in that case i think they were charging and the prices varies every time so you can go to the um, official website of cypress dashboard and read more about the pricing and if you think why do i need to take care all of that headache then just use custom reporting of whatever i am showing here so pricing okay so users 3 right now you can use it for free and for more than 5 users 25000 recordings dollar 99 per month so look at here and decide what suits for you if you want to implement that in real time all right guys here spec is passed everything looks good so where is our report then look at here mocha some report a folder got created just open that folder and you will have html file and right click copy the path of that html file and then hit on your browser that's it so right now we have only one test so it have pointed me to that specific test it will also give the code whatever you tried and everything looks good it passed and how much time it have taken totally one test zero failures and it took 19 seconds okay so you have filters here show only pass show only fail with one test you may not feel or impress much about this mocha some plugin but if you have around 20 or 30 test cases it just displays same like how dashboard is showing for you okay where is that yeah it just displays in the same manner like how many test how many pass everything here the only difference is in dashboard you will have recording screenshot logs you will have logs here but you won't have any screenshots and recordings in mocha some plugin so it's up to you to choose the best whatever you want all right guys so that's pretty much about custom report plugin and with this we have successfully completed almost all the topics except integrating with jenkins okay so we will wrap that in our next lecture and with that we will be done with discussing all the best practices in building cypress framework okay see you in the next lecture thank you